Now I'm a big fan of getting weird quirky lenses, like some old vintage lenses that kind of separates you from the crowd or at least separates your footage. I picked up a lens I had bought in several years ago and that's the CCTV 25mm f1.4. It's a C-mount lens that you can attach on your mirrorless camera and it gives you these shots. Believe it or not, this is a 25 millimeter f1.4. And you know what's even crazier than that is the price point. This comes in at $27. For an f1.4 lens, it is unheard of. For any lens, that matter, it's unheard of. I did a video review of this a while back, like two or three years ago, and I really enjoyed using that lens. On the lens itself, it's fairly basic. All you have is a focus ring that will change the focus. And up here we have our aperture which is clickless, so it's quite cool for doing video or like raising the exposure, doing fade-ins and fade-outs inside the camera. So of course with a lens this tiny, it's gonna be hard to ever find an ND filter that's gonna cover that. I'm sure you can modify it for that, but in other words, you can just close down. I will say though, when you do close down these aperture blades, and depending on which camera you use, those aperture blades can peek through in your video and give you a harsh vignette, which is not really desirable. If you own a camera like the Panasonic GH5, an easy fix is to use X Teleconvert so you can crop in and that will actually multiply your focal length and you will avoid those harsh edges. But when you use this lens at f1.4, there is very little harsh vignetting, like there's no aperture blades peeking through. Um, you will have some natural vignetting just of the lens, which I like. The most notable quirk in terms of image quality of this lens is those blurred edges. They are quite severe, but that really draws you into the center of the frame. Now, if you like that, that's a plus. If you don't, I'm not sure why you're getting this lens. But one interesting thing when you're focusing through the lens is suddenly those edges become sharp and the middle becomes blurred as best demonstrated here. And when you're filming with this lens, you're going to find that those edges as well is going to warp the bokeh in the background. So if you have some light bulbs in the background, they are going to kind of curve around those edges, much like an anamorphic lens can do if you have an older projector lens. Um, so it kind of mimics that look. But towards the center, they kind of round off again. So it's pretty cool with that. The focus ring is so close to the mount that it makes it fairly difficult to full focus. Combined with the fact that it has a long focus throw, it does make this really hard to operate. So here's the same camera placement just switched on for that 25 millimeter lens and you can see you can definitely lose focus quite easily. But you see how definitely those edges are a little bit blurry. Something about it just feels a little different. I think if you're a beginner, especially on a budget, you need some lenses, you need some fast lenses, well, this is right up your alley. I think it's worth checking out this lens. It's cheap enough that you can kind of keep in your camera bag and whenever you do need that little creative flair, you can whip it out and you can get some cool shots. That's it for this video. See you later.